your horn, which does not work. Train brake applies the brakes to all the cars. Locomotive brake. Your bell. Plug that. The train's moving slowly. Everything's close. Your throttle. Your reverser. Forward and reverse. Uh, your sand. No, that's the, that's the alert. That's the, the alert will go off every 30 seconds unless you're touching the horn or anything. Sometimes you just click it along, not touching anything at all. That will keep going off. You just have to press it like that. And the locomotive is at the engine. Locomotive knows that the engineer is still alive. This is rail link number 401. And this is right here. This is called the dead man's pedal. So you just, the engineer has to keep his foot on it and just sit back in a seat, which is somewhat comfortable. And just keep clicking along. And if he takes his foot off the brake for too long, that means the engineer uh, trains can come to a complete stop and he has to answer to somebody. And in the conductor seat, you got a stove. It's got a fridge or so, something. I don't know. And uh, here's the. Kind of, I don't want any raccoons to come out, so. Oh, yummy. Toilet. Yes, yeah, locomotive is disgusting, but it is somewhat cool to see. This locomotive ain't going nowhere. Reverser. Dynamic braking. Oh wait, that's the throttle. Doesn't, doesn't look like this, this locomotive has dynamic braking. Unless I'm wrong. That might be the dynamic braking. That's the throttle. Train brake. Your horn would be right there. All in which sense has been removed. This, G this GP38 has been going through a lot of wear. There's the pistons. I think. It says 2,000 horsepower, I think, is what this one has. There's a piston right there. Alright, this is CEFX. Capital Equipment Financing. It's a leasing company. Can't get in that CEFX, it's bolted shut. But I can get in this one. The SD40-2. Manual sanding. I think that's why it's uh, all that manual means is like to make the sand go off at certain times on the rails. Reverse it. Uh, throttle. Dynamic braking. Set them low, medium, high. Let's just turn back low. Okay. This is your brake. Keep that there though. The horn. Let's see. That's pretty awesome. That's uh, where the radio would go, right in this area here, compartment. That's the alerter, it might be. Two buttons right here. I don't know what these are. I'm not gonna touch them anyways, just in case. And the conductor seat, which is quite comfortable. I'm going in there. Um, oh, there's the door to the toilet. Alright, here we have the SD40M-3, which looks like an SD45. We're getting in the cab here. I take a look in there. Very oily. That's how you start it. 
Here we are in HLCX 6522. We have all the controls here now. We have the bell, alert or reset, sand, sanding, I don't know what difference in that is. Your reverser, MD, locomotive division, tenement uh, braking, throttle, I'm not going to touch that though just in case. Horn, that's jammed. No, it's just hard to pull. Your brake. So released. Uh, I forget what the second one is, but applied. Emergency. Hold. Uh, the locomotive brake. Just keep that there, though. This calls the RTC or dispatch center. I don't know what the ground reset is. Um, yeah, it's just lights. Uh, that's the conductor seat. And the last locomotive is HLCX 60, 61, SD 40. Straight SD 40. That's the bell, I think. Well, probably not, I don't know. Now, everybody, don't think I'm trespassing or vandalizing. These locomotives are going to scrap. And I got permission by the mechanics here that I could go in. It's in Godrich, Ontario.